thank you very much for my nice introduction uh, and giving me this opportunity to have the keynote at this among the eminent scholars uh, from the different part of the globe. A uh, very interesting international conference has been organized by the Sakuntala Mishra Rehabilitation University and his collaborator. Uh, before uh, starting this, uh, let me have a very, uh, very uh, natural question that what is the uh, ultimate goal of our education? because we are going to discuss about the research methodology because it is uh, really stated that the research is not limited to the laboratory, but it is related to the every work of our life. So let me have a very uh, natural question that what is the ultimate goal of our education? If it will be asked, then definitely the people may have their popular answer that to earn the massive wealth or somebody will say that to attain the highest position in the administration and to attain the highest position in the society or to become the most famous personality in the world. I think all these things, whatever we got as a popular answer of this question that what is the ultimate goal of education is only the byproduct of one thing that is known as the research. That's why I concluded that according to me, nothing is true as means reveal the encrypted formula regarding the mystery of the universe, also known as the research and innovation. That is also the main mandate of the uh, government of India right now. I'm going to give a certain examples to you people and who will realize it in a well. I think that this is the well-known figure uh, known as the Elon Musk. And what he did actually, why he has been so much popular and so much uh, wealthy, uh, he did actually the research to reveal the encrypted formula of the technology and management. And with that, Recently, if you will observe that what is the wealth related to this volunteer is the 225.29 billion US dollar. This data is recently from the 24th October 2020. If we will have another example, then we'll see that this famous personality, uh, well known to the science as well as the technology also, reveal the encrypted formula of the atomic structure. And I think that he is the well-known figure known as the eldest Rutherford. And due to his innovation, due to his uh, research, he got his position in the currency of the New Zealand, as well as in the, uh, in the currency of the United States of America. The dedication of the research of this fellow, we, we can imagine with this, that during the First World War, he was one of the advisors in the Defense Committee of the uh, British Council. And, but unfortunately, he uh, uh, unable to attend an important meeting, which has been organized to suggest the effective defense against the enemy, enemy submarine. Then what he has replied, that is most important here, I'm just reading to that. During the last year of the First World War, Ernest Rutherford failed to attend a meeting of the British Committee of the Expert appointed to advise a new system of defense against the enemy submarine. When he was censored for his absence, he replied that, I have been engaged in the experiment, which suggests that the item can be disintegrated artificially. If it is true, then it is far of greater importance than any war. Let us have another example. He is also the well-known figure, need not to um, tell the name of this personality, who revealed the encrypted formula of the social engineering and management and become so much successful person of this area. Let us have another example who revealed the encrypted language of the emotion in terms of the poetry and 
the tranquility emotion in terms of the poetry becomes the first outcome in the field of uh, in the field of poetry manishatishthama tumgama satuti tama yad kaun smithna dekham avadhi kaam mohitam this this is related to the fact that when the crowns were in the pear uh, was on a tree and a hunter killed one of the male part then the lamenting female uh, was there and after seeing to that the mahasi balmiki uh, tranquilized his emotion in terms of the language so all these all these encrypted things when comes in the uh, in the picture then really they gives almost all the things belt and uh, uh, famousness and anything else whatever we are considering in our materialistic world that is only the by product of those researches basically now the question is what are the basic basis for the foundation of the systematic approach of the research to unfold the mystery of the different field of universe obviously the research methodology if we will uh, when in the inaugural session i was uh, listening to the different speakers then there was a great question of the million dollar that the people start the research but they didn't continue or they leave it in between that was that is the great problem and that has been pointed out by the honorable chief guest of this conference uh, professor nb singh who is the vice chancellor in the khwaja manubin chisti university language university and uh, i think that the remedy for this is that before starting our any particular research we should be very much particular about the focus that what to do how to do what will be the pathway for the same and that can be decided only on the basis of the rigorous exercise on the research methodology that will be able to destine ourselves to our ultimate goal of our research so that's why we have to understand that what is the research and what is the effective methodology for the same to understand that in order to conclude the ultimate goal of our research what we wish to conclude there so in that context first what is the research first we should have the idea about that and research is a process of step used to collect and analyze the information to increase our understanding of the topic or the issues at a general level research consists of three steps what is that pose a question means that what we want to do basically why we are doing this thing? what we have to do why it is required to that these questions should be first then after collect the data to the answer of the question then after we will try to have the answer of our question if what will be the suitable answer of our question and according to the prevailing situation according to the prevailing data according to the prevailing uh, experimental ability and then after the uh, present and answer to the question will put the answer of those question and in many cases we will justify it either by the tool of the survey or the tool of the instruments which are available in our laboratories it means that first we will start a question mark question mark means that if what is required what we want to do then after we will try to have the data to have the answer of this question and then after we will justify our answer what we have presented as a answer of our posed question there are certain steps uh, to in the process of the research when the researcher conduct a study uh, they proceed through a distinct set of steps here ago these steps were identified as the scientific method scientific method of inquiry basically and uh, that has been uh, suggested by uh, pioneer worker in this field that has been mentioned here in this slide that the kerlinger in 1972 lady and armor in 2001 using the scientific method of researchers uh, what we will have actually we will identify a problem that defines the goal of research and make a prediction that 
if confirmed, resolves the problem, gather data relevant to this prediction, analyze and interpret the data to see if it supports the prediction and resolve the question that initiated for the research. Uh, in the, our lower uh, classes, we might have read ki, uh, the systematic knowledge of any particular thing uh, is known as the science. So basically here, what the steps are systematically used for the invention and to carry on our research, that is known as the scientific method. And that is the basic building block of the research methodology. Here. There are the certain uh, process and steps and broadly they has been uh, classified into the six steps. Number one, identifying a research problem, reviewing the literature, specifying a purpose of purpose for the research, collecting the data and analyzing and interpreting the data, reporting and evalu evaluating the research. Basically, all these three steps should be most consensually and most uh, uh, most carefully should be identified by the research a researcher so that they can have the conclusion to the research what was the query in the inaugural session uh, in the inaugural session by the honorable chief guest that if we will identify these things and these steps clearly then i'm sure that we will be uh, destined to our last step that what outcome we are getting there. If we'll have a spectral representation for this one, then you can see that a hexagon is there and in which the uh, sex part is there. In first, we have the research philosophy, means that what we want to do for that, what philosophy we will develop. And first, we will ask the question and philosophy to do the things there. Then after we'll have the research approach, how to how to conclude that and how to conclude means how to uh, perform the things to have the answer of the question which we we have all. So this we were discussing about the different steps and due to the I'm sorry for due to some technical glitch. Um, I was offline uh, for some minutes. So I'm very sorry for that. Uh, we are starting again from the, that point where we left uh, uh, that uh, what are the different part for designing our research. In that first is that what is the research philosophy based on the question which we are asking to resolve or to get the answer of that question. And then we will have the research approach to uh, have the answer of that question, which is the main theme of our research. Then we will make the strategy for that. Key for the strategy will be for the same. And then after we will have the research design and we'll have the data collection and then the analysis of that in order to interpret that the what result we got in a context to the answer of the question has been raised by us. For the research processes further, if we will have the close observation, then there is a uh, flow chart uh, for the research process through the quantitative and qualitative research. We'll have the research process. In that research process, first what we will have, we have to decide the research problem. Then after we will think that what the other pioneer work did on such type of similar question, because that gives the insight to us in our favor to have the proper answer of the question or the problem which we have designed. And then after the research question will be there corresponding to that. And there will be two ways for that. One is the quantitative research and other is the qualitative research. Both have their importance. And according to that, if we will mix these two, then we will have the more effective outcome for the answer of the question which has been raised by us in the beginning. 
On the basis of this quantitative and qualitative research, we will have our research design, and that may appear in three forms. One is the quant uh, quantitative design, in which it includes the experimental part, correlational part, survey, and then after we have the qualitative design in which the grounded theory and ethnography are the narrative part of the scene. And we will have the mix of that, that is the combined design of that, that is the mixed uh, method or action research. And it will have the next outcome of next step of these uh, research design, that is the sampling instrument instruments, protocols, data analysis, interpretation. And finally, we'll have the discussion, conclusion, limitation, and the future, future exploration of the research for the other questions which are limit, not limited to that particular part what we have designed. Rather, the people may have the other question for the betterment of the entire humanity and mankind. I think I'm audible now. So okay. Now we'll have the certain other points related to the quantitative uh, research methods. Quantitative research is an approach for testing the objective theories by examining the relationship among the variables. These variables in terms can be measured typically on instruments so that the number of data can be analyzed using the statistical procedures. The final writing, a written report has a set structure consisting of introduction, literature, and theory methods, results, and discussion. The researchers in this form of inquiry had assumptions about testing theories, deductibility, buildings, building in the protection against the bias, controlling for alternative explanation and being able to generalize and replicate the findings. Qualitative research characteristics, the major, characters, major characteristic of the quantitative research are describing a research problem through a descriptive, a description of the train or a need for an explanation of the relationship among the variables, creating the purpose, the statements, research question, and the hypothesis that are specific, narrow, measurable, and the objective. Collecting the numeric data from the last number of the people using the instruments with the preset question and responses, analyzing the train, comparing the group, are relating variables using the statistical analysis and interpreting the results by comparing them in prior prediction and the past research, writing a research report using the standard fixed structure and evaluation criteria, and taking an objective, unbiased approach. As far as qualitative research method is concerned, qualitative research is an approach for exploring and understanding the meaning individuals are group ascribed to the social and human problems. The process of research involves the emerging question and procedures data typically collected in a participant's setting data analysis, inductively wielding from the particulars to general themes. The researchers making the interpretation of the meaning of the data. The final written report has a flexible structure. The researchers in this form of inquiry suppose a way of looking at a research and honor, honors and inductive style, a focus on individual meaning and the importance of rendering the complexity of a situation. As far as qualitative research characteristics is concerned, in qualitative research, we see the different major characteristics at each stage of the research process. 
exploring a problem and developing a detailed understanding of a central phenomena. Having a literature review, pay a minor rule but justifying the problem, is stating the purpose and research question in general, in a general and a broad way, so as to participants' experiences. Collecting data based on the words from a small number of individuals so that the participants' view are updated. Analyzing the data from description for description and theme using the text analysis and interpreting the larger meaning of the findings. Writing a report using the flexible emerging structure and evaluative criteria and including the researcher's subjective reflexibility and bias. There is the mixed method research related, which has been obtained combining the qualitative as well as quantitative research. Mixed method research is an approach to inquire involving collecting both the quantitative and qualitative data, integrating the two forms of data and using the dis distinct designs and may involve the philosophical assumption and theoretical framework. The core assumption of this form of inquiry is that the combination of qualitative and quantitative approaches provides a more complete understanding of a research problem than either approach alone. What is the research design and how to, after using those, what is the real sense of the research design based on the research methodology? Let us have a few points on that. Our research design is a plan, a structure, and a study of the investigation received as to obtain the answer to the research question or problems. It includes an outline of what the investigator will do from writing the hypothesis and their operational implication to the final analysis of the data. According to the certain um, researcher, uh, certain pioneer who, who work in the research methodology, a uh, research design is a arrangement is the arrangement of the conditions for collection and analysis of the data in a manner that aims to combine relevance to the research purpose with the economy in procedure. Research design are the specific procedures involved in the research processes, data collection, data analysis, and report writing. As for research design association to the qualitative and qualitative research is concerned, the type of quantitative and qualitative research design in the primary uses are mentioned here. Just if we will take the uh, quantitative research design then it is the intervention research, non-intervention research, and its outcome will be as the explaining whether the intervention influences uh, an outcome for one group as opposed to the another group. And uh, then of course, so, sorry to interrupt you, sir. Uh, sir, yes, sir. actually we are running late, and our next is because yes, Professor yes, Pacing is waiting. I, yes, so sir. I'm concluding good. very soon. Very soon. Please. Next part of our uh, talk is here that the research, uh, report writing and its publication. Uh, for that, we we already uh, have exercise who who are working in the research field that the uh, what are the essential things required for uh, the article preparation that is the language editing, grammar, similarity, and we should not be in hurry. And presentation makes the quite different thing how to have the presentation if we have the bulger present and the smart presentation for the same. And for the first impression for our uh, such type of communication or writing the report that uh, make uh, sure uh, your paper uh, fit with a particular scope and then we will have the different checkpoints related to the quality and for the submission point of view. And most important, we, we must follow the instruction which has been given for the author carefully. And the selection of the criteria for publication of our report is also very important. And that the, the site is good, impact factor, time taken, age and indexing. 
and there are the certain search engine with the help of which we can then which journal will be suitable for us and when the things or the report has been communicated for the publication then the editor's view is always related to the scope of the journal and contribution reliable uh, readability or the structure and reviewers view will be always the creative and avoid the marginal contribution as well as the methodological sound and these are the checkpoints we are submitting our uh, uh, report for the publication that was the title page cover page highlights and manuscript table figure and supporting documents and if once the revision has been sent that we we, we should uh, handle it very carefully by being the patients uh, having our patients descriptive response response to the comment highlight to the chain and we should be very much generous to always and agree with the reviewers in case of the contradict contradictory comment we have to apply uh, in a very humble manner and it must reflect that the effort has been made from the author side and we should never give up any type of revision and comment to that you can reach to me by these thank you very